Understanding dyslexia. People might feel that dyslexics are not as smart as their peers. However, this isn't reality, and it's important to realize that while reading and therefore writing might not be a dyslexic's strength, there's no reason they can't excel in other fields. There have been many well-known dyslexic scientists, engineers, artists, and leaders. Examples include George Washington, Pablo Picasso, and even Albert Einstein. If you feel that you might be dyslexic, it's important that a doctor diagnoses you. This could allow you to get extra help at school. There will be many occasions when you'll need to be able to help yourself, though. Over the years, people have come up with different strategies for dealing with dyslexia. Quiet places help people to focus better. So, impossible. Those with dyslexia should seek out quiet spots for reading. Additionally, they benefit from listening to audio recordings rather than reading text. Luckily, these days, many books are available as audio files. No matter what, though, remember that dyslexia does not mean being less smart than others. Okay, welcome back to English for You. I'm Sam, and I'm Elsie. Right, and yesterday we were talking about a mental condition called dyslexia, which、yeah. makes it hard for people to read and、right. possibly write. Yeah, people with dyslexia might have trouble、mm. reading, writing, and maybe listening. Yeah, maybe、mm-hmm. listening too. Yeah, and of course, this can affect people of all different ages. But especially, I would guess, especially younger students, because、mm-hmm. as we learned yesterday, they might not even be diagnosed until they're adults. Right. So they might have difficulty, have trouble, but their teachers might not know、right. about it. Yeah.、Mm. So they just wonder why they can't spell things, why they can't read things yeah. properly. Yeah. Maybe teachers get mad at them, yeah. yell at them. Which、yeah. makes them might have less confident in themselves, right? Yeah, if you're getting poor grades on your exams,、mm. but it isn't your fault. You're studying hard. What else can you do?、It's, right. Yeah. So today we're going to find out a bit more about this particular condition. We're also going to find out, hopefully, that it means that people with dyslexia are not, you know, they're not stupid people. It's、mm. just one thing. It doesn't make someone stupid. It just affects their reading and perhaps, yeah, their spelling and things、right. like that.、It、doesn't affect their thoughts. So let's get going. So the article begins today with people might feel that dyslexics are not as smart as their peers. Peer 是我们今天第一个要解释的字哦，它是一个名词，代表同才或是同等的人。那我们很常听到同才压力，英文里面呢就是 peer。Pressure, 好用到的就是这个字。那人们呢可能会觉得有阅读障碍的人不像是他们的 peers 同才一样的聪明。But this is not true, right?、Mm, no, it's not true at all. No. However, this isn't reality, and it's important to realize that.、So、there we go. So here we have the word reality, which you'll see contains another word, real. That's because we use reality to talk about things that we see or that occur in real life. Okay, so for example, David thought that he had lots of money, but he soon realized that this wasn't reality when he woke up from his dream. So sad for David. Poor David. <laughs> okay, so reality 这个名词呢是现实真实。那其实呢，它前面的四个字母 R E A L real。同学们应该很熟悉哈，它就是真实的这个形容词。那 reality 我们可以搭配什么样的字呢？比如说 face reality， 那就是要面对现实。那不愿意面对现实的人会选择逃避现实，那就是 escape from reality。嗯哼 ，Yeah， that's a good phrase. So the article then says, while reading and therefore writing might not be a dyslexic strength, there's no reason they can't excel in other fields. Okay. So this sentence has a few words for us to look at, and the first is strength. Strength is related to the word strong. So things that we are strong at are our strengths. If you are good at English, then perhaps languages is your strength. Or if you are good at basketball, then maybe sport is your strength. You are strong at playing basketball. For example, Chantelle's strength is acting, so she really wants to become a movie star. 
。Strength 这个名词呢，是优势或是优点。那相反的，缺点或是劣势，那就是 weakness。那这两个字呢，有的时候在这个 job interview 面试当中，可能你会被问到 What are your strengths and your weaknesses？、嗯、对不对？所以你就要去回答这个问题：到底你的优势、优点是什么？可是你的缺点劣势又是什么呢？那我们课文说到呢，阅读和写作可能不是这些人的优势，但是在其他方面，他们也能够胜过他人。Excel 这个动词呢，是擅长、突出或是胜过他人。那在哪一个方面胜过他人呢？我们可以后面接上 in 或 at。其中一个介系词之后，再加上这个方面这件事情，所以就是 excel in or at something. Uh-huh.、Mm-hmm. And we then have the word field for us to look at. So you might think you know what field means, and you probably do know one meaning, as in the large grass area that farmers might keep cows in. However, this field is a little different, and that's why we're looking at it today. This field means something that you study or an area of work. It's a bit like a topic. So, if you want to work with computers, you might get a job in the technology field. So that'll be like an area of work,、mm-hmm. type of work with technology. Okay. So, so, what's the field you're in? We'll say、um, you're in the teaching field. No, editing field. For me, probably、mm-hmm. yes. I guess for you, you're in the teaching field. Yes. Yeah, and I suppose we're both in the education field. Ah, we are both in the education field. Yeah, yeah, because we're both. Well, I, I write things to teach people, and you、mm-hmm. teach things、right. to teach people. So, yeah. So, an example of field could be Mike has always been good at math, so he got a job in the banking field. Ah,、uh, the banking field, 那就是银行界、银行业了。所以 field 这个字呢，在这边不是原野哦，它指的是研究或是工作的专业领域。所以我们刚刚讲到的 banking field， 我们讲到的 the education field， 教育界、教育领域。那还有什么呢？比如说 the medical field。医学的领域，还有 the artistic field， 那就是艺术界、艺术领域。嗯、mm, ，Okay. So the article then says there have been many well-known dyslexic scientists, engineers, artists, and leaders. Examples include George Washington, Pablo Picasso, and even Albert Einstein. If you feel that you might be dyslexic, it's important that a doctor diagnoses you. 啊，那这边呢出现了今天的 language in focus. Let's take a look. <音楽>今天的 language in focus 要讲到的是 it 加上 be 动词加上形容词以及 that 子句的用法。那这个句型呢，以 it 当做虚主词哦。句子的真正主词是 that 所引导的名词子句。不过呢，避免这个名词子句当主词的时候太长了，我们就会用 it 当做虚主词代替这个真正的主词。那就将真正的主词，也就是这个 that 子句放到后方去。那在这个句型当中啊，主词补语是一个形容词 adjective。那表示对 that 子句的评价，所以给同学们一个例句哦。比如说，我们可以说啊 ，It's obvious that Paula is in a bad mood today. She hasn't talked to anyone yet. 很明显 ，Paula 今天的心情不好，她都还没有跟任何人说话。所以，我们看到了虚主词 it 加上 be 动词 is， 形容词用的是。Obvious, 也就是明显的。然后后面呢有一个 that 子句。那另外啊，名词子句除了可以由 that 引导之外呢，也可以使用由 how 所引导的名词子句。像是呢 ，It's sad how the environment is being harmed by pollution. 我们的环境正在被污染伤害，真让人家感到。遗憾，那虚主词就是 it， be 动词是 is， 然后形容词是 said， 再来就是 how 接出来的名词子句。Okay, so back to the article. This could allow you to get extra help at school. There will be many occasions when you'll need to be able to help yourself, though. So we've got the word occasion here. So this means a short period of time or an event. So, according to the article, there will be times when you'll need to help yourself. For example, Benny is usually late for school, but on this occasion, he was actually early. Occasion 这个名词呢是时刻、时节或是特殊的场合、事件。所以呢，刚刚例句里面出现的 on this occasion， 那就是这次的意思。那如果是在特别的时节呢，我们可以用 on special occasions。那如果是在一个重要的时刻，你可以说它是一个。
an important occasion. 那课文说啊，在许多时候呢，有阅读障碍的人需要 help themselves， 也就是帮助自己。But what are some things they can do to help themselves? Well, the article might tell us. So. Over the years, people have come up with different strategies for dealing with dyslexia. So there we go.、Hmm. Quiet places help people to focus better. So when possible, those with dyslexia should seek out quiet spots for reading. Okay, so seek out quiet spots for reading. What does seek out mean? Well, it's a nice little pocket phrase, and it means to find something. So seek means find. So seek out is find something. Okay, so seek something 或是 seek somebody out， 那就是下决心找出某人或是某件事情。所以呢，对于阅读障碍的人来说呢 ，a quiet place， 一个安静的地方，是可以帮助他们 reading 阅读的。嗯、mm, ，Okay. So the article then says, additionally, they benefit from listening to audio recordings rather than reading text,、mm. which kind of makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So here we need to know what additionally means. And additionally is the adverb form of additional. And additional is something that is extra or plus one. So we can think of additional if we see the word add, like a d d.、Mm. Then that's just kind of short for additional, really. So when we say additionally, like it is in the article, we can think of it as meaning also. An example could be: Mary really likes singing. Additionally, she enjoys dancing and playing the guitar. So she also enjoys dancing and playing the guitar. Additionally, 这个副词呢是另外或是此外。那你会发现呢，它前面三个字母是 a d d add。好，它就是增加的意思。所以再加入一件事情，再加进去一件事情，一个东西。那也可以用什么来说呢？也可以用 in addition， 或者是 besides。好，或者是 also 也是可以的。Okay, we also have the word benefit as a verb. Benefit can also be a noun, and when we use it to mean This is basically something that gives us something good. So it's a benefit to go to university because it makes getting a good job easier. Going to university gives us something good. So things that are good for us benefit us. So Alice benefits from coming from a rich family because they could pay for her expensive education. Benefit 在这边呢是动词哦，它代表受益或是得到好处。那从什么人或是什么事情当中受益或是得到好处呢？你可以说 benefit from something or somebody。所以像刚刚的例句呢 ，Alice benefits from 后面接出来 coming from a rich family。好，那就代表它是受益于来自一个富有的家庭。那另外呢，刚刚 Sam 有提到 benefit 可以当做名词用，那就是利益好处。那他们呢、啊、也就是有阅读障碍的人，他们受益于听声音，而不是读文字。好，所以我们看到一个字是 audio， 这个形容词就是声音的、录音的或是播音的。Okay, we then have the pocket phrase rather than. This simply means instead of. So I'd like coffee rather than tea today. I'd like coffee instead of tea today. Oh, so we can use both. Yeah. Hmm. So, you know, rather than is 而不是，那 instead of 也是而不是哦。那两个呢，你都可以用。好，你可以交替使用它们。So the article then says, luckily these days many books are available as audio files, which would be helpful. Yes. Okay. So we again have another phrase here, which is these days, and it's a nice little phrase to end the day with. We use this to mean now or things that happen now in this current time period. It used to be cheap to buy a house here, but these days they're all so expensive. So now they're expensive.、Mm-hmm. So these days, where we can use now, or what else can we use here to replace these days with? Recently? Yeah, we could say recently.、Mm-hmm. As yeah, it depends on the situation. Right. Yeah. 对， yeah. 所以呢 ，these days 它解释的是现在或是如今，好，所以可以带出现在的状况。所以呢，课文最后说到啊，现在如今有很多的书都是有这个录音的形式，来帮助这些有阅读障碍的人可以更简单的阅读。Okay, so now onto the final sentence of the day, and it says, no matter what, though, remember that dyslexia does not mean being less smart than others. Hmm.、Okay. So, like you just said. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, if you have dyslexia, or perhaps you think you have dyslexia, don't worry about it. If you think you have it, but you haven't been diagnosed, as we saw earlier, maybe、mm-hmm. it's a good idea to go to the doctor because that will help you to understand what's going on. It will help 
your teachers to understand what's going on, and perhaps they can help you a bit better. Right, they can.、Uh, maybe doctors can help you find ways to cope. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that concludes today's article.、Mm-hmm. So we need to go into a chat question. Okay. Okay. So imagine you have dyslexia. How would it affect your life? How would it affect my life? Well, my life would be a lot harder. Right. Yeah, I can imagine anybody's life will be a lot harder with dyslexia. Right, and、uh, also maybe I might have more trouble dealing with my schoolwork、mm-hmm. if I'm yeah. a student,、yeah. or I would have more trouble dealing with my work. Right,、yeah. and that might cause me to have less confidence in myself. Yeah, and I might be depressed. Yeah. I might have depression before I learn to cope. Right.、Mm. Yeah. Exactly. If you don't know what's going on, it's always worrying. Yeah. So yeah, you need to you know find a way to cope with it, to deal with it. Yes. Yeah. I think for me, well, it'd be very difficult to do my current job because I write a lot of articles for you、mm-hmm. guys. So it'd be harder to do that. Yeah. You know, it'll take me longer to do that anyway.、I'm, for sure. You know, hopefully, I'll still have the thoughts to do it, but、mm-hmm. it'll take me longer to actually write the、mm-hmm. the words on the you know the paper, so to speak. Um, but yeah, I think also when you're an adult, you have to do many kind of official things, you know, with the government, like your taxes and things like、uh-huh. that. And perhaps it's harder to, and perhaps it takes a longer time to read and understand、right. all this kind of complex wording, difficult wording for things. Yeah. Do you think、um, there are some jobs that people with dyslexia might not be able to do? That's a good question. I would think. You know, I start thinking about you know official documents and things. I wonder if being a lawyer would be difficult because there's a lot of they have to read a lot. Yeah, a lot, and it's a very difficult、right? language, isn't、yeah. it? Even if you use you know, your own language,、mm-hmm. there's a lot of legal language to、right. understand.、Um, so I think for anybody that can be difficult to understand, let alone if you have dyslexia. Yeah. So. Yeah. Life for them is not easy, right?、Mm. Yeah, so you've got to find ways to cope. Doesn't mean、yes. you can't do these things, but you've got to find ways to deal with dyslexia、right. first. Okay. okay. Well, it's been a very interesting topic. We、mm-hmm. hope you've enjoyed it, and、uh, that's all for now. I'm Elsie, and I'm Sam. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Vocabulary review. Reality. Thanks to my family's help, I can turn my dream of opening my own coffee shop into a reality. Strength. One of Lucy's strengths is her dancing ability, which allowed her to join the city's best dance group. Field. The field of science is always getting larger and more advanced because of the progress we make. Occasion. It's Sam's birthday on Saturday, and we'll celebrate the occasion by having a party. Additionally, Tom found a new job that offers great pay. Additionally, it comes with a lot of paid vacation days. Benefit: The town will benefit from the new public park because it's a place that everyone can enjoy. 智慧小蝴蝶 Peer. Excel. Audio.